Rodimus Bill here. <laughs> Today we are doing Titans Return, Voyager figure, Blunderbuss, and Broadside. <clears throat> First up, box. Here is the box and the artwork. It is Blunderbuss and Broadside, Titans Return. He is a robot, aircraft carrier, and jet. And over here it says, with the Decepticons rising, the Autobots power up with Titan Master Partners to stop them. Blunderbuss and Broadside gives Broadside the ability to temporary mass shift and turn into a hulking giant. And that is how he can be a jet and a aircraft carrier at the same time in only 18 steps. <clears throat> and here is Broadside. First we'll do a comparison with Broadside from 1986. Here is the original Generation 1 Broadside. And here is the new Titans Return Voyager. They still kept the same gray. The cockpit on the front, I'm missing the bubble. The same red. The feet are still the same. And the face is barely the same. And Broadside comes with a typical Titans Return gun. Where it's got pegs <clears throat> on the top and the bottom. And a little seat where you can put the Titan Master in. And here is Blunderbuss. There you go. Very similar to his G1 original. Very similar to the G1 original head. And here is in robot mode. He's just basically got some red paint and some silver paint. <clears throat> and of course you can move his arms up and down. And there's the back of the figure. We'll put him to the side. <clears throat> he also comes with a slew of aerial bots to put him on in jet mode. These are similar to the Combiner Wars because you have the Silver Bolt's new form. You have Skydive, Air Raid, and the Slingshot and Fire Flight mold. And they have little pegs on the back to put him in. <clears throat> And here is, let's look at Broadside. He's got articulation wise, you can move his arms 360 degrees. His head, you can move not all the way around, but it's on a little, it gives you room to move his head. <clears throat> uh, he's got the elbow joints. His legs move up 90 degrees. His knees move about 45 degrees. And his ankles move for transformation. He's got some nice blue, <clears throat> blue paint, gray paint, silver paint, and red paint. The back of it, he doesn't really have that much of a backpack. Just the nose cone of his jet mode. Overall, he's a nice, big, hulky figure. Now for transformation. <clears throat> you want to take Blunderbuss off. And we'll just put him to the side. First thing you want to do is fold the arms in, the hands I should say, <clears throat> hands are in. You need to fold these up like so and the other side will fold this up like so. <clears throat> the back you want to flip, this is on a double hinge, so flip this up and then flip that up. Okay, <clears throat> the legs you want to rotate, rotate, again this is on almost like a double hinge, you can fold it up, then you got to fold it up again, and that little peg goes in there, and then the other one you fold up, fold it up again, <clears throat> these two pegs together, peg that in. And on his hands, you'll see, <clears throat> when you fold these down, let's see, you fold the aircraft carrier in, and these are supposed to peg in nice and neat. And you'll notice there is a little peg there, 
and you want to get this hole in that peg. So rotate those, <clears throat> snap it in, rotate that, snap that in. On the feet, <clears throat> these are the little landing, it's got some landing struts. I'll pull these out, pull these out. Here's the main one, pull that out. <clears throat> This gets folded in, and this gets folded in, these get folded in, these get folded in, <clears throat> and then on the very front, pull these out, snap it together, there you go. And then <clears throat> on this side, you have the control tower, you flip that up, and that is broadside in his aircraft carrier mode. Very nicely done. And then you the aerial bots with those pegs again. You can peg these on. <clears throat> and they peg on like that. I'm not taking mine out though. And also it's got the Titan Master pegs here, 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 here. A couple more here, here, here. Where you could put the Titan Masters on or the <clears throat> or the um the plane. And also there's a hole right here. You can put the weapon in there. Your Titan Master could sit in there. Blunderbuss. And he could ride the aircraft carrier. There you go. <clears throat> and that is Broadside's aircraft carrier mode. As compared to the Generation 1. Fold the arms in. Fold this out. Flip this up. Flip this up. And there is the Generations 1 aircraft carrier mode. Number 86, now he's 36. And so there is the two different aircraft carrier modes for broadside. <clears throat> now, for the plane mode. This plane mode, a little disappointed <clears throat> in what this plane mode is. But, what are you going to do? Okay. Split, uh, first you want to fold these down. Fold these down. These are also reminiscent of the same legs that Sentinel Prime <clears throat> has. So fold those down. Fold that. 90 degrees. Fold that 90 degrees. <clears throat> I know we're doing airplane. Ah, you want to fold these around. Okay, so you want to take the aircraft carrier, you want to Okay, you want to take the legs, rotate this around uh, You want to fold this in All right, <clears throat> and there you have the legs Fold the wings out Fold the wings out, fold this back up and then here, you want to fold just this piece down. Okay, so now you have the jet. And the legs will do the leg, uh, so we'll do the arms. The arms, you pull out, fold these down, pull out, fold them down. <clears throat> and the legs, this is where it gets tricky. You'll see they got pegs here, and you'll see a little hole there. So you gotta line it up. 45 degrees and turn other side line up put the peg in and turn and then here we can just put these wings out fold these up straight and you'll see this peg there's a little hole it just slides into the bottom of that so there's one arm and then you do the other side and basically, that is your plane mode. Not the greatest. Looking at it from this one, I think is they could have made it a lot more flatter. There's the bottom. There's the back of the plane mode. And there is the close-up. 
There you go. You got the legs almost at 45 degree angle. You got the cockpit. And then you can open the cockpit up. And then blunderbuss sits in the cockpit. You can close it. <clears throat> and then his weapon, you can put here on the side. Or you can put right in that hole. And that, I think, is the best. So now you got a plane with a gun on top. Or, there you go. There's a little hole right there. So you can do the plane like that. And that is broadside. Go back to the G1 original. <clears throat> Fold this down. Fold this one down. It's got little peg, little hole. Don't always work. Wings. Fold the wings down. Fold the wings down. Fold these out. Fold these out. Fold these out. Fold these out. And there is your G1 broadside. He used to have a cockpit bubble, but mine is gone for some reason. This thing is over 30 years old. And there is broadside. And here is again the broadside. And I'll transform back into robot mode from this mode is the easiest. You gotta take blunderbuss out, untab the arms, untab the arms, pull these out and up, out and up. Now these are on double hinge. First you got to put that up and then move this down. Rotate the arms. Ah, pull out the arms, pull out the hands, rotate, pull out the hands, unpeg the legs. Oh, I just hit the button. Unpeg the legs, straighten them out, fold the feet down. These two come across like that. Unpeg the legs, fold them down. These two come across, flip the foot out. Straighten your figure up. These shoulder pads pop down, kind of like the new Optimus Prime and Octone, not Octane for some reason. And the wings, you can either keep them up, keep them down, however you want them. You push this button, it activates the upper head. Transform blunderbuss into the head. And there you have broadside in his robot mode again. For the generation one, fold the feet up. The arms do pop out, do pop out. They only move 90 degrees. Expose his head, fold the fins in, rotate the feet, turn these up, and there you have Broadside. 30 years in the making. Like I said, as aircraft carrier mode, he's very, very tight, he's very bulky, he's a nice, nice figure. Airplane mode, eh, not so good, and robot mode, he is really nice. I do like this figure. I was the original Broadside fan. And when it, when I found out they were doing another Broadside, I was like, I'm going to get him. And this little guy is at Target now. A lot of Targets. And that is my Broadside and Blunderbuss review. If you like, my, if you like this video, please put a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. And check out all my other Transformers and Action Figures reviews. This is Rodimus Bill, signing out.